real quick, be sure to take full advantage of this by signing up at woodproacademy.com where you'll get access to the full tutorial, but you'll also get project downloads. By working along with the video, you'll greatly accelerate your learning. So enjoy your video and we'll see you at woodproacademy.com. So go ahead and open up your spreadsheet. Let's talk about it real quick. Uh, make sure you save copies of this, right? Because because there's there's some things in here that can be broken. <laughs> let me let me explain a little bit of that to you. You want to make sure you have an original so that if you break it, and sometimes we'll break it on purpose, uh, but you do want the original so that the formulas you don't have to you know rethink all the time. So some of these cells and columns, I'm going to highlight this W1 column. Some of these are meant for us to plug data into. And then other columns or cells have formulas in them. And a formula is just kind of a math equation that's going to, I'm going to add some stuff up. Um, it's going to add different different uh, cells and multiply times conversion factors and do all kinds of cool math for us. I love Excel. It's a, it's a giant list with a calculator built into it and it's fantastic for this industry. I use it all the time. Uh, so if you're not familiar or confident with these formulas, I would urge you to keep checking back with us as we create more uh, tutorials on this. I, I don't think any anybody you know working in any engineering department or or even as a shop foreman definitely not an estimator if you're not confident with excel and and have a basic understanding of formulas um you're, you're kind of not complete so keep checking checking back with us we're, we're going to get more into that and this is this is not the purpose of this video but we do want to plug some information in and uh, give you a brief overview. Let me go back to my takeoff, and I'm gonna I want to click on Manage Columns, and I'm gonna I'm gonna simplify this view here. There's a, a lot of stuff going on here that I just don't need right now. I'm gonna turn everything but comments and links off to make my view simpler. Okay, and I can move some of this around too. I'm going to expand unit 1A because that's what I'm going to work with first. And then I'm going to arrange my spreadsheet sort of side by side and start plugging in information. Okay, here we go. Wall 1, 1 foot 8, that's 20 inches. Now you'll notice my splash, my square footage, and my square foot total are starting to fill in. That's because there's formulas in here. The splash is a sum of all the walls. Square foot is the sum of all the walls times the depth, okay? That's gonna give me square inches plus the square inches that, that are accounted for with the splash times a conversion factor, which is this long decimal here. And that's gonna give me square feet, okay? And then my square foot toe is going to take square feet times how many units there are, in this case 19. And that's going to give us our total for the whole project, for the whole building, all 19 units. So keep an eye on these columns as I fill in here. So we got 3 foot 9 inches. So that's 36 plus 9, that's 45. Then we got 60 inches for that. You'll notice our columns are filling in as we go. Let's come over to the peninsula. We have eight foot four. That's 100 inches. Our vanity is 36 inches. That's filling in. I don't have vanity. I don't have two vanities in this unit, so that stays blank. It's not going to add to our total. So I just need to go down the line and fill all, all of this in.
We hope you benefited from that quick tutorial. Even though we specialize in training materials for the professional woodworking industry, we know that our techniques can benefit anyone. And if you haven't already, be sure to go to woodproacademy.com, sign up where you can get access to this full tutorial and many more. Plus, you'll get the project downloads.